is John, I'm 25 years old, I'm an amateur MMA fighter out of Phoenix in Winton. So MMA specifically, I struggled with boxing because I'm quite dynamic but I struggled with with just just punching. Like I'd always be, I'm not very good at just moving my head so having more tools to use, so more arms, legs, um, knees, etc. Is, um, is, is more beneficial for me because I feel like I can work more with it. I also enjoy the more the differences between it. Like you're learning a lot that can help you everywhere. So for me, it wasn't just about fighting in MMA. It just gave me more confidence walking around. It made me feel just better as a person. More, um, I believed in myself more. I guess is the only way I can put it. Basically, I got out of my car. It was just outside Tesco's on Ashley Road, and. Um, this man like attacked a woman and basically like kicked her and like knocked her over onto the floor and stuff and then and then ran. Um, and I chased after him and, and caught him and yeah the police caught up with him and, and apprehended him and stuff as well. So I probably wouldn't have had the same confidence to do that if I hadn't been doing all the training that I was doing. You put yourself through a rigorous training schedule, like you challenge yourself against all different types of people on an almost constant like daily basis and yeah, it, it helps a lot. Pushing yourself at the time, and like you go through this period where, as a fighter, everyone goes through it. You start at the bottom and you work your way up, and it's like the purest form. There's no shortcuts, there's no like uh, easy route to it. You've got to go through that grilling process where you get beaten on, you learn, you adjust, you adapt, you perform, you get better, and you have to go through that to become a good fighter. It's just consistency. You don't even have to be that good, you just have to be consistent and have to want it enough to get to it.